Stephen, <laughs> um, obviously you have made quite an impact this year with your public speaking yes. and your story. Yes. Um, where does your absolute insane passion come from for motivational speaking? Listen, I'm never going to lie and say I knew how it happened. But all I know is when you surround yourself with amazing people, the best things happen, Maria. Yeah. The best things happen. I can't tell you all the strategies because very soon there'll be workshops between yeah. both of us explaining how to become the best speaker you can. But all I can say is jump in and just run with it, really. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so if, if, for example, I mean, obviously, um, your message is to help people and to make them aware of that they can, they're capable of absolutely anything absolutely. and, you know, that there are limitless possibilities so if there was someone who was in a really dark place right now who thought there was no hope or you know who felt really limited by their world and what they've been through what advice would you give them with regards to moving forwards to be honest with you the best advice i can give to anyone is it is possible and the reason why i share my story so much mm -hmm. is just let people know that yes you can do it <laughs> honestly <laughs> And how, how did you learn that yourself? Where did you get this, this attitude from, this amazing positive attitude? I learned that we all have problems. We're all going through something. And the thing that you're going through might seem impossible to overcome. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you have to keep going. Mm -hmm. And some of, our, some of what we share in our talks mm -hmm. is some strategies how we got out of it. And all I want is to share my story just so that someone else can be like, hey, that's Stephen Secky. He did it. Yeah. Why can't I do yeah. it? <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. And do you know, Stephen, obviously you were born in Uganda yes. and you made the transition to the UK. That's right. Um, and obviously I think that, that makes you pretty unique, uh, you know, and you share your story quite freely. <laughs> but what did you learn most about that, about you in that transition? <laughs> the main thing was, the UK food was different. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you see in Uganda, the food I used to eat yeah. and the UK food were completely different. Yeah. But what I would say yeah. is along the way, I've met some incredible people. Some of my favorite people in this world I've met since coming to the UK. Yeah. So the friends I've made, the people I've met. I've come to Cornwall, guys. <laughs> I've come to Penzance. I've come to Falmouth. I've come to Plymouth. And I've met incredible people along the way. And yeah. That comes from opening your heart. Yeah. Let people in. Let them get yeah. to know you. And you know what? You never know what's going to end. Because a lot of people were asking me, you're going where? To meet who? <laughs> On a Saturday morning? <laughs> have a lion. Why not? <laughs> but for me, I thought, if I have a lion, yes, okay. But if I go see Maria and Harriet and we network and we get to know each other, actually, something good might come out of it. Yeah. And... That's how we met, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. We met absolutely. You know, in, in, a, in a hotel, had dinner, yeah. and from that... When he happened. says we met in a hotel, we didn't meet in a hotel <laughs> No, 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 like it wasn't a hotel, guys. Like <laughs> <laughs> because he's engaged, no, like <laughs> you know, In a restaurant, it was a restaurant, it was a hotel restaurant, guys. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> that was funny. But, you know, obviously Stephen as well, you know, hilarious, hilarious guy. He's like this on stage. He is the real deal here. But <laughs> also, Stephen, you speak a lot about gratitude. I do. You know, I do. tell me, I do. what advice would you give to people listening to this right now about gratitude? I think gratitude is such a hard topic. Right. And when I say to people that I'm thankful, mm. they just think, well, what are you thankful for? But it's, it's a topic that I feel so passionate about because I found that whatever you have in your mm. life, it could be a lot, it could be small, but it is enough. Mm. It's simply to kind of summarize it. Obviously, in, in the talks, it goes into a lot deeper, but to summarize it, is simply appreciating what is in your life right now. Yes. Yeah. So that's the people you have, mm. the stuff you have, and not comparing yourself, just knowing, you know what? I've got shoes on my feet. Mm. My feet are not cold. I'm happy with that. And you yeah. kind of, you start seeing the world in a completely different way because you're choosing mm. to appreciate what you already have. Yeah. But if I live my life, compare myself to you mm. by saying, oh, Maria, I love your leather jacket. Mm. I want to get a leather jacket. If I can't afford it, I'm going to be upset with myself because I can't afford it. Yeah. Got However, you. if I say, well, I've got my own jacket, mm. I'm not cold, happiness comes in. Yeah. And what yeah. that does is it encourages other things to yeah. constantly happen for you. Yeah. Like this morning, I could focus. It's cold outside. I don't want to be here, really. But actually, it's cold outside. 
and I've got my eyes, yeah. and I get to enjoy the yeah. beautiful, you know, the Absolutely. beautiful environment. Yeah. And that's literally what gratitude is. When you kind of learn to just appreciate what you have yeah. and where you are, yeah. you will find you find happiness in all sorts of things. Awesome, awesome <laughs> advice. Well, thanks for that, Stephen. That was absolutely awesome. Give me a hug. Yes. Oh, <laughs> and guys, amazing, amazing speaker. Just wearing, to yeah. point out, Maria is a great friend, and we made a hotel restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.